underwear. <laughs> so Jasper Rabbit needed a pair of underwear, and on Thursday, his mom took him to the underwear store, and he grabbed the last three packages of plain white. But it's just before they brought to go to the checkout, Jasper spotted a very, very cool, funny pair of underwear. Really fun. Uncle Mom, I like those underwears. Can I have one of those? It look really, really cool. It's for bedtime. <laughs> okay, sure, honey. They were creepy underwear. So creepy. So comfy. Look at those eyeballs. Look at those teeth. They were glorious. Cool. They even look like they glowed in the dark. Mom, Mom, can we get these, Jasper, please? I think they're a little too creepy, said Mom. They're not creepy. They're cool, said Jasper. I'm not a little buddy anymore. I'm a big rabbit now, and I should better wear super cool, creepy, monstrous, haunting, scary, funny, creepy, creepy underwear. Okay, dear. Mom agreed to buy him just one pair. That night, Jasper wore his cool new underwear to bed. Look at those eyeballs. Look at those teeth. Look at my creepy underwear. Do you want me to leave the hallway light on now, Dad? Dad, I'm not just a little bunny anymore, said Jasper. I'm a big rabbit now. Look at me. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I got big boy pants on. Ha, ha. I've got something besides turtles and little mousies. I got creepy underwear, so I'm super cool. And that night, the underwear glowed a ghoulish green glow. Woo! And look at those eyeballs. They're looking sinister. So I closed my eyes and I pulled up the covers because those underwear were staring at me. Those eyeballs. I buried my face under my pillow. But it didn't help. He could still see that ghoulish green glow in those eyeballs and those little eyebrows and those little teeth and that little nose staring at him. And I leapt out of bed and put a pair of plain white underwear on. And I stuffed the creepy underwear into the bottom of my laundry hamper. These creepy underwears are going there. And I went to sleep. And I'm sleepy. But when I got up the next day, guess what? Guess what? Guess what was on me? I'm wearing the creepy underwear. What? How did these glow-in-the-dark creepy underwear get on me? I took them off. So you know what? I'm taking them off and I'm going to go outside and put them in the trash can, you glow-in-the-dark creepy underwear with your creepy little eyes and your creepy little smile and your creepy little teeth. And then I went home and I'm doing my homework and then I went to my room and I'm just doing my homework and finished my homework and I'm going to go in my drawer and put on my, my night stuff. I open the drawer and my underwear are back and they are staring at him with that glow and those creepy little eyes and those little eyebrows and those little teeth. So I took the creepy underwear from out the drawer and I grabbed a big envelope with some stamps. To China you go. Goodbye scary underwear. And I put them in the mailbox and and the mailbox and mailman you bring these underwear anywhere but back to my house and when the next morning the doorbell rang ding dong ding dong special delivery i couldn't believe it there was a big package and i opened it up and there were my underwear and they had chopsticks my creepy underwear somehow returned from china and it bought back souvenirs he must have ate some delicious stuff over there my glow in the dark Creepy underwear with those little creepy eyes and those little eyebrows and those creepy teeth. So I grab the underwear and this time, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut up those underwears, those glow in the dark with my scissors. Scissors, 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 scissors. And at bedtime, I slowly open my underwear drawer. Nothing, just plain white undies. Oh, phew. No more glow in the dark creepy underwear. I can't have any eyeballs and teeth staring at me. So I sent you to my bed. I look at my door, I looked at my hamper. Nope, 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 nope. And then I'm celebrating and I'm jumping up and down. Phew, no sign of creepy underwear. And so I went to my bathroom to comb my ears and brush my teeth and get ready to go to bed. And la 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 la. Can you believe it? The underwear is back and they're hanging in the bathroom. What's the matter with you? My his mom asked. Why are you so jittery lately? Not nothing, nothing. A grown rabbit couldn't possibly be jittery. So I took those underwear from the bathroom and I got on my little bike and I pedaled as fast as I could all the way out in the forest and I took a shovel and I 
and I dig, 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 dig a big hole and I dug until the hole was dark and deep. And I'm gonna put those creepy underwear in that hole and just bury it with the dirt and then then nobody and these underwears are never coming back to my house. So I put it in the underneath the ground and I put in drop the underwear in and now you could see them from the bottom because they were glow, ghoulish glowish green. And then I left on my bicycle back for home. La, 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 la. See you later, underwear. See you later, creepy underwear. But when I got home, I had to go to sleep. I went to my dresser and there was not gonna be in there, right? There's no way my underwear could be in my house because I rode my bicycle all the way out in the forest and dug a hole and buried them. So I opened my drawer and phew, phew, just plain white underwear. Thank goodness, no creepy eyeballs, no creepy teeth. So I smiled, I turned out the light, and I went to bed. And guess what? <laughs> it's dark in here. Oh, it's really dark in here. It's dark. It's really dark, I can't see anything. Oh, I can't see my lamp, I can't see my post on the wall. So I turned the light back on, and I looked at my non-glowing pair of plain white underwear. Oh. These white plain underwear, just, I can't see anything dark. So, you know, I know what I have to do. I got on my bicycle, drove all the way out to the middle of the nowhere. I took my shovel and dug, dug, dug deep. And I got my creepy underwear. They're a little money, but they filled the room with that gentle greenish glow. And I could see and I felt comfortable in my sleep. So, I'm just gonna just... Just sleep really gentle because I feel at ease. So next day, I got all my allowance and went to the underwear store and I bought some more. That night, I wasn't scared. I laid down to sleep and so did my under because they all finally found somebody who wasn't scared. My underwear and I weren't scared of each other and we were just sleeping and I could see everything in my room so I didn't see anything creepy, but just me and my glowing underwear that just made me feel safe in my room and I could see the door in case I had to go tiptoe into the bathroom in the middle of the night. And I feel safe. And I like my new creepy underwear. So, the end.